In America, we have rights, but the rights of American citizens are often abated and often ruined by police officers. It's the reason that people are always saying defund the immoral and bad police. My entire life goods were taken from me in jail. We know the names of the officers who probably did it because of their arrogance and wanting to be in power over someone, wanting to be in charge of someone, wanting to lie about someone, and wanting to ruin someone they were jealous of because their lives are so stupid in that jail. They've never produced anything in their life. They've never done anything in their community, but they thought they'd piss around on someone. The reality is they lied about everything. And a female judge participated in that, so we can call her situation female angst, which men hate. Men hate a woman who lies about the law. And that woman lied about the law. Her feeling was that my body didn't belong to me at all. But her attitude was, what happened to me wasn't even a matter in that situation. She screwed up. And she screwed up in front of the federal government. When you screw up as a judge in front of the federal government, the federal government, with their lawyers in charge, are supposed to do the right thing. But sometimes those people who make millions of dollars, who finally got to their space in the world, want to still try to remain in charge of God. And when you try to remain in charge of God, when you allow sexual assault going on in your communities and your cities, when you allow the redistribution of someone's body who doesn't want it by Muslims of your fucking Indian community, then you deserve what God will give you. God is not pleased with America. He has given it COVID for that reason. But you little motherfucking Chinese and Koreans and Indians don't have the right to walk around and give people COVID. What a stupid boy you are to think you had the right to hack someone's computer with your friends in a staple shop. Give me a motherfucking break. If you think your companies are agreeing with you, you're out of your mind. If you think those companies won't sue you and put you in jail, you're out of your mind. Because the 5 to $10 of the internet that's been borrowed by a homeless person or by an indigent person is not the problem. The problem is you are allowing the panhandlers in and out of your shop. Now what are they doing there? Are they really panhandlers or are they really some sort of mob situation that's going to take over your fucking shop the more that you interact with them? Or is the panhandler named we don't know what walking in and out of your shop and giving sex to your men while they're on the job? You see, the liars of America like to lie. And when I wake up in the morning and still find my beard has been cut again, motherfucker, I'm coming for you. And your family too. You lied about your rights to do that. You lied as a big bitch bully of America. And let me tell you, white men, black men, any type of man, it doesn't matter how big his dick is or how small his dick is, he hates a woman who is uppy like that, who thinks she has the right to abuse a man.